and Governor Ifai Ogwai of Enugu State has directed all civil servants in the state to resume work on Monday, August 3rd, 2020. The directive was contained in a statement issued by the Secretary to the State Government, Professor Simon Otwaya in Enugu. The governor advised returning civil servants to observe all Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC protocols for containment of the spread of coronavirus disease. Joining us is Dr. Onyekachi Ugwonye, the acting chairman of the NMA Enugu branch, to take a look at this development. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. The directives by Governor Ifan Yogwai for civil servants in the state to resume work amid the COVID-19 pandemic, do you see it as a right move in the right direction at the moment? Well, I'm quite baffled by that um, information because um, it's actually not the right time to do that. If we look at what is coming from um, the NCDC, showing that um, the incidence cases are still on the increase, just like uh, yesterday, 404 new cases were actually um, identified or diagnosed. I don't think it will be the right thing, and the governor asking the returning civil servants to be the lay down protocol, which includes social distancing. I wonder how it will be possible if all the civil servants actually get back to work, how they are going to effectively observe social distancing. And they're all the same. We cannot see in the offices of the civil servants where there are uh, the protocols of um, washing hands and um, free face masks and then um, adequate um, protection from those people to avoid um, their contacting this illness. So I actually feel that um, it may not be the right thing by the government to take that decision. Okay, let me, let me ask you, about over time, in the last few months, you think that the state government has done enough in terms of preventive measures before asking workers to go back to work? Well, I, I, I think uh, the state government has been making efforts to um, curtail this uh, pandemic. Um, such things like um, trying as much as possible to increase the awareness campaign to the citizens of the state. However, there are some areas that I feel that the government hasn't done well. Now, let us get to understand that the testing capacity hasn't increased. Many more people have not been tested. A lot of people who need to be tested have not gotten this, um, this, um, this um, opportunity to get tested. And the, the fact that um, a whole lot of people have actually not had access to these personal protective equipment, even when the economic downturn on people are quite massive to prevent them from assessing these things themselves. So I think there are still areas that the state government needs to do more in terms of um, curtailing this pandemic. Okay, and, and um, as of yesterday, um, out of the 404 new cases, Enugu has a total of 20 um, cases, uh, new cases of, as of yesterday. As the acting chairman of the NMA for Enugu State, how have your members taken being, um, in, of course, in charge and in the front line um, during these challenging times of COVID-19? Quite um, very impressive. I think I'm proud of the members of Nigeria Medical Association Enugu State Chapter with regards to their unrelenting efforts to take care of um, patients despite the um, caring nature of this pandemic. Uh, unfortunately, it's um, something that we need to understand that most of the things needed by my members to take care of themselves and protect their lives and the lives of their young ones are actually in scarce supply. Uh, but that's not that uh, notwithstanding, I'm quite sure that every doctor in Enugu is helping on making sure that there are no preventable uh, deaths arising from uh, um, this pandemic. Okay. Do you have any um, advice to you know members of the NMA and um, you know what they should be looking out for? I understand you know what's currently going on you know with Enugu State NMA. Well, my advice to the members of NMA in the state is to remain calm and uh, steadfast that um, this uh, association is quite intact 
and uh, their affairs are quite protected. The forthcoming election will still hold. In no time, we're going to roll out the protocols on how to organize um, online debates and our AGM as well as the election. They have to understand that this is actually a trying time for the association, but um, in no time, we're going to come out of it stronger and better for it. I, I want to know, and, and, and we're out of time, but I really just want you to speak on this. Your, what are your thoughts on the, the reaction of the um, Enugu residents to the coronavirus? Um, because I'm aware that there are still clubs. Nine clubs are still opening, you know, maybe silently. So do you think that the people themselves have taken this um, situation seriously enough? Or do you think the government should have come down, you know, with stricter measures of protecting the people? Well, I have to speak from both sides. I think um, the citizens of this uh, state, not just state, across the nation, I believe, uh, still have um, difficulties accepting that uh, COVID-19 is actually real. In most places, when you interact with a whole lot of people, they still interpret it from the political prism. They understand that they feel that this is a political gimmick by the government to control people or probably to siphon a whole lot of money that has been uh, marked for um, fighting this uh, pandemic. On the other side, I don't think that it would be right for the state government to increase its measures to get stricter, because the more you do it, the more likely people are going to disobey. Even the um, agencies that are supposed to enforce these laws are actually not doing what they are supposed to do. I okay. feel that the government should spend more time and energy in trying to win the hearts of the citizens as well as increase the awareness of this um, uh, con uh, pandemic so All that right. uh, more people will um, comply and um, definitely will save more lives. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Onyeka Chiyogonye, for joining us. Um, we we'll definitely hope to speak with you again. Thank you very much.